to my channel. So today I've decided to do a little bit of baking. Now I know during this time of quarantine I have seen so many banana bread recipes and I don't know why because that is not the only thing that people can make. Normally when I have a sweet tooth it definitely goes into the chocolate area but um, since it's warming up again here in Los Angeles it's gonna be a really warm weekend um, I decided to do something a little bit lighter I'm gonna be doing a lemon and yogurt uh, muffin or a cupcake but probably more like a muffin and unfortunately I can't quite remember where I pulled this recipe from I want to say it's William Sonoma I could be wrong, um, so I'm not quite sure where to credit it, but it's not an original. Most of the time when I bake, I use a recipe, but um, I have not made this one yet. It seemed pretty good. I had all the ingredients, so I'm going to give it a go. So for this recipe, in my bowl to the right, I have my flour, sugar, baking soda, as well as baking powder, and I'm going to whisk that together along with some salt. And then I have a couple of beaten eggs, um, some yogurt, some melted butter, and a lemon that I will be using the zest as well as the juice. And then in this other bowl to the left, I have some turbinado sugar, chopped walnuts, and nutmeg. Okay, so I'm just gonna combine all of the dry ingredients, and I also want to add my lemon zest to this as well. I've already washed my lemon really well, so I'm gonna go ahead and zest this. And then to this, I've kind of made a well into the center, so I want to get my yogurt in here. And I'm using Greek yogurt. The recipe doesn't really specify whether or not to use like something else, but um, just as long as it's plain. My eggs. My melted butter, and the lemon juice. And I'm using this to get all the lemon juice out, but you can use whatever gadget you have. And I kid you not, this recipe says to whisk it for about 20 turns. Okay, well, that was it. And now I'm just going to um, spoon my batter into the muffin tin. I don't like greasing the pan, so I just put some cupcake liners into this. And this batter is enough for 12 muffins. And then before this goes into the oven, I'm going to sprinkle some of this walnut sugar and nutmeg mixture on each one, and then it'll bake until done. I did not toast the walnuts before because this is just on the top, so it'll go ahead and toast in the oven. So I went ahead and pulled these out of the oven. They are done. If you take a skewer and poke it in the center, pull it out, it comes out clean. So I'm just going to let these cool. So I got my muffin unveiling and let's test this out. Hmm. It's good. It's pretty light. I mean, I get the uh, lemon, the nutmeg. <laughs> it's not that sweet, actually, which is nice. Um, I went a little shy on the sugar because I had almost enough yogurt, plain yogurt, so I actually added in a spoonful of honey-flavored yogurt. Um, that was my reason, but it's actually very good. Uh, the other thing that I didn't have that the recipe calls for but it is optional is some lemon oil or lemon extract so if i had used that uh, the lemon flavor would be a little bit more prominent i will try and locate the recipe um, due to copyright reasons i will not be writing this one down in the description box but if i find it i will link it down below 
good. Um, I would say like for breakfast with some fruit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.